YouTube. It is your favorite game here, Above Average Cody. And I'm going to do it to you guys. I hate to do it to you guys. I'm getting excited about Season 3 of Halo Infinite. It's been a while since I've done a positivity and excitement spew for this game. Some of you love it. Some of you hate it. But guys, I love the things I'm hearing. I am getting very, very excited. And some of the things I'm not hearing are arguably getting me more excited about what could be coming in Season 3. Now, way back the last time I even chose to speculate about what was coming to Halo Infinite Season 3 and all of that, guys. We were planning on, I believe, three new maps. We were planning on... um. Forge playlists basically where you can match make into some forge playlists and then a couple little ranked improvements here and there um, Since that video guys We already have our first forge map made playlist and we also talked about how the forge customs browser Those were projected for season three That already came out. It's already in the game and it is already working ranked improvements literally this week, we are getting many improvements that weren't projected to come this soon, which is one less thing to add to the docket for Season 3. And the more we get things early, the more they get ripped off of the Season 3 release docket, is the more I get excited. Because keep in mind, Halo Infinite needs a large influx of excitement. A new season will do that, especially when it has been six months of people just sitting around waiting and hoping it, hoping for rumors. The And they're not going to give you a dull list, guys. They are not. There is no physical way a game developer would allow Season 3 to come out with like, oh, sorry, sorry guys, we already gave you all of the content, so here's uh, here's one more map and a new gun. Although some companies have been known to do that, guys, with all the things that we're hearing, seeing on Twitter, the leaks, which we're not going to get into, um, because frankly, I don't like following leaks, guys, because a lot of times they end up not being true, or they end up being scrapped, or they end up changing. We're not going to get into all that. But the things I'm hearing, there's going to be a beefy list coming for Season 3, because again, all of the exciting things, the custom games browser, the Forge Match Made playlist, the ranked fixes, all of the things that were talked about originally for Season 3 are already out. And I'm seeing this as potentially, or at least I'm hoping, it's, uh, oh, you guys thought that was cut, you guys thought that was the big news for Season 3? Well, boy, do we have something exciting for you. Now, there's a lot of things that I still want to see in the game, make no mistake. There is no official word that they are coming, and there is no official date when they are coming. But all of the silence, yet how I've seen them addressed and talked about on Twitter has me thinking they could be coming soon. Whether, that's, whether that is Season 3 soon, I do not know. Now, enough speculation here. Let's start talking about some of the hard facts and things that... Uh, rumors, I guess, that I've been hearing. These are not leaks. These are just things that, like, uh, all fingers are pointing towards this stuff coming. First thing I want to bring up is infection. Um, it seems like we have all of the fixings, if you will, for an infection game mode to be coming. Um, I've seen a lot, a lot of rumors from a lot of different sources that Infection could be the focused game mode of Season 3. Now, there is no hard evidence to support this, that at least not that I've seen, but it would make perfect sense because it seems like there's a lot of... 343 is focusing on the things that people are yelling, screaming, and jumping up and down about, which leads me to believe they've been pretending like they're not hearing it so that when it actually comes, people are like, oh my god, they've been listening to us this entire time. And Infection fits in this landscape. Um, I do hope it is the focus game mode. I think that would be really, really cool um, because Infection Man is so, so fun. I played that for hours upon hours upon hours on Halo Reach, and that game mode is a blast. If that is the main social game mode for... Season 3, guys, you will see me playing social game modes. I'm very against social game modes, but you will see me playing that. Now, the other thing that I have actually seen uh, employees of 343 address on Twitter, I don't remember if it was uni or not, um, but it is a career progression system. We are talking a level system. Something to display 
how much you play, how much XP you gain. Um, they kind of set the landscape for this with the winter update when they did the 30 tier battle pass that took experience to progress. That tells you they have an experience system that they tested, that they know how it works, and that they are willing to tweak. Um, people were asking after the 343 layoffs whether this um, project, if you will, or addition was still being worked on or if it was scrapped. Whoever, I believe, I want to say it was Unishek. He literally said that it is absolutely still in the works and that it was not gone at all and it will be added. Now, this does not give a date. This does not give us any hard evidence because, again, some companies like to talk and then things never come and people are disappointed. But 343 has been very much on the path as of recent of not saying anything, not giving a date and then releasing something earlier than expected. Obviously late in terms of it should have been in the game already, but early in terms of we were expecting it to come in 2025. Um, I feel like this is where the career system stands, um, and career system would just... I don't know about you guys, but it would do so much for me on this game, not only because I play it a lot and feel like I'm not working towards anything, I prefer to not play social game modes and things like that because there is no reason for me to win. I'm not grinding for match win XP. I'm not grinding to further a level or anything. There is absolutely zero reason for me to grind social game modes in my spare time. I get on, I put my ranked and team practice in, I get off, and that's simple as that. Um, but a career progression system would just... Oh my god, dude. If I have an imaginary useless number telling me and showing people how much I play the game... That gets me excited to grind the game, but maybe that's just me. And next up, guys, these are some rumors that I believe were unearthed around the times of the leaks. I have yet to see any evidence. I have yet to see people say too much about it, but I've been seeing the word firefight thrown around a little bit. I'm only going to talk about this one briefly because I don't want to get people excited about something just to not have it come into the game. And that is why I don't do videos on Strictly Leaks, guys. This is merely me speculating, getting excited for what could be coming in Season 3 and beyond for Halo Infinite. Now, firefight, guys... When I was just chilling, playing Halo ODST alone, I was I was probably in high school, maybe even before that. I don't remember when OD when where I was in life when ODST came out. But dude, I played Firefight over and over and over again. It's literally like COD Zombies in Halo, but better. It was so so fun, man. Um, and if that came to Halo Infinite, a game where I love the mechanics, I love the weapons, and that I love to play and stream for you guys. On top of Forge maps? Oh my god, dude. My mind would be absolutely blown. It could be hours upon hours of fun for a game that has been labeled as stale and even dead over the course of its lifespan. And that would just be really huge. I'd love to see it. And I would love to see all of the lovers of Firefight but haters of Halo Infinite be smacked in the face with that. But that's all I'm going to say on that matter, guys. Other than that, I'm hearing more than just two or three maps coming. Um, I'd really like to see some big team battle maps. We don't need, well, we need multiplayer maps, but we don't need five multiplayer maps being thrown in at once. Give the BTB community maps and give them good maps. Those players get on this game and play and play and play. And if you ask me, dude, I'm not even a BTB grinder and I don't like the maps for big team battles. Um, they don't feel nearly as good as what I remember back in the day. And I just think that community deserves some maps, especially since I don't even think they got one in Season 2, uh, which is crazy. I realize they're kind of like slim on resource and they're focusing on one thing versus another versus another. Um, but I'd really like to see that. Although I'm very much a ranked player, I'm very much a grinder of the game and I want the career ranked and I want all the ranked fixes. Um, I want to see every bit of this community get things that they enjoy. The career system would help out everybody. BTB maps would help out the social player community a lot. And I think all of these things together, if all of this stuff releases with Season 3, this game is in probably the best state it's been in since it was labeled dead, what, two or three months into the release, guys? Um, 
obviously nothing campaign wise, but that's definitely there's still we need a lot of news to really save that aspect. But um, if all of this stuff ha stuff happens, if even half of this stuff happens, guys, I'm excited because the people that have been loyal, the people that have been staying on the game will get exactly what they wanted and can easily keep enjoying the game. And more importantly, those are some game modes and some big titles that turn heads that get eyes on the game. And let me tell you guys, content creators like me are going to go crazy with it. I can't tell you how much fun it would be grinding ranked, then jumping to infection, then jumping to, I, I don't know, what whatever else gets added to it. I don't want to speculate too, too much further. But let me tell you guys, that would be really fun because then I can not only cater to my ranked players and people trying to get better at the game, but I can cater to the social players playing the BTB, playing the Infection, and just having a great time here. And um, the more content creators that are able to do that and branch out to further audiences in Halo, the more content creators are going to be paying attention to the game and the more eyes that get onto the game. And hey, man, I'm not saying Halo is going to get back to where it once was. I hope someday it will. I believe someday it will. But I think Season 3 could be a very big turning point for this game. And I'm very excited. And I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Alrighty, subscribe to the channel. We literally stream five days a week, guys. We do like a million Halo videos. We've done a million Halo videos. And we've built such an amazing community. So uh, please become a part of that. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment, guys. You guys usually go crazy on these videos in the comments. Just please keep it positive. Keep it fun. Let me know where you're at thinking about Season 3 of Halo Infinite coming in less than a month. Lastly, guys, channel membership. Super thanks. If you'd like to support monetarily, um, please don't feel like you have to. But it does help me out ever so, so much. But already, guys. Thank you for all of the support lately. You guys have been crazy. We've been having a blast. The community's amazing. And I just don't know what I would do without you guys. I really do these trying to bring you guys the best and most fun content for you guys to enjoy. And I'm glad you guys are vibing with it. But already, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.